Hello and welcome to the Aphrodite Hills Resort near Pathos here in Cyprus. Here is our review and what we thought of the hotel while we stayed here for the last week. Just four hours from London you'll find nestled in the hills near Pathos in Cyprus is the Aphrodite Hills Resort. So named after the Greek goddess of love, desire and beauty. Here you'll find numerous swimming pools, spa resort, restaurants, business and conference facilities all operating under the luxury Thompson brand Sensatori. We took an all-inclusive option though half and full board are available too. They tell us Sensatori fuels the senses. So when you arrive at the Aphrodite Hills Resort you're led into a very spacious open reception area and greeted by the reception staff who are friendly, will help you with anything and get you checked in really quickly. The building itself is very large, high ceilings, light and airy and fabulously decorated. So you, you step into five star luxury as soon as you arrive. A welcome meeting on your first full day gives you all the information you need to know about the resort, its facilities, entertainment and organised excursions. We found the reps to be very friendly and non-pushy. No salespeople roaming the sun loungers or reps pressuring guests into signing up to day trips or spa treatments. So if you're looking for somewhere to eat here at the Aphrodite Hills Resort, you'll be sport for choice because there are several restaurants dotted around the complex. The main restaurant is the Eleanor restaurant serving breakfast, lunch and dinner. But around the complex you have got other little restaurants. You've got an Asian called the Jasmine, an Indian called the Taste of India and also a Mexican which is located near the pool. So really a great choice for food. The main buffet restaurant Al Onaz caters for all the family with an international cuisine theme. In other words, burgers, pizzas and pasta dishes. Mm, that's a bit unfair. There's a broad selection of dishes including the old favourites and even the odd local Cypriot style dish. Eating inside or out, the choice is yours with some pleasant spaces to dine. One good thing is for each meal time, there is an adult only dining area available to enjoy a meal away from the young cherubs. With fabulous fresh salads, fruits, cheese and desserts available, the whole family will find something tasty to eat in Alo Naz. The buffet style layout allows you to choose freely and the range of dishes is amazing. I think my favourite meal was chicken chips and peas, so home from home. They have a live food station cooking omelettes at breakfast and things like Mexican wraps for dinner. There's also a small selection of inclusive a la carte restaurants. So tonight, for our dining experience, we've decided to come to the Jasmine restaurant. It's a Asian restaurant serving the best Asian food. We so far have had a duck starter, and we're looking forward to having Thai green curry and whatever Andrew's ordered. So one of the many restaurants here where you can delve out from the normal to the exotic. We also tried a Mexican restaurant by the pool. Quite a romantic atmosphere and probably one of the best meals we had. We didn't get into the stone grill as it was always fully booked. Our tip is to book before 9am on the hotel's app. So if you venture into the square here in the resort, you'll find some a la carte restaurants there. We chose the Indian. Very lovely food, very nice. But we came away feeling after paying 70 euros that the experience wasn't much different from the other restaurants in the complex. Nestled in the well-groomed grounds are 290 hotel rooms offering a confusing 17 room configurations. You should be able to find your perfect accommodation, but just watch the detail when you book your room as some of the choices are costly. The range includes standard, deluxe or family with garden or sea views, some with pools, jacuzzi. We paid a 20 euro a night room supplement for a deluxe family room with a sea view, which was a perfect choice for us. 
coming in. Hello and welcome to room 5201 here at the Aphrodite Hills Resort. The rooms are very spacious and ours has a couple of day beds in the living area. We have ample wardrobe space, as you see. Lots of room here, also with some additional pillows for the bed in case you haven't got enough. And also in here is an iron and ironing board, which for me personally is a must when I come on holiday because I do like to wear iron clothes of an evening. So you've got those wardrobes and you've also got your wardrobe here, which has got your safe in, free of charge, and also more space for shelves. And there's another one at the end here, which is more, more shelf space. So all in all, lots of room for your clothes, so you won't have a problem there. So this is the table in our room. Got a telephone, a Bluetooth speaker that we can use for our devices. Also, you've got a hidden hairdryer and vanity mirror in the drawer, very handy. And also you've got a multitude of power points here for all your appliances that you bring. Some are UK standard, which is very, very helpful. This year, following feedback from last season, they've introduced a stocked fridge full of soft drinks and a couple of beers. Oh, there you are. You're in our bedroom, which is a separate room here in our suite with a lovely, comfortable double bed with the added extra of a bed topper, which makes it a very nice sleep of a night time. So these two lovely large doors lead into our luxury bathroom. So in this magnificent bathroom, you have not only a bath, but a separate shower, which is huge, and you can actually sit down in it. There's a separate toilet, lots of shelf space for all your bits and pieces, and a lovely sink area, a magnificent bathroom. So we've got a lovely balcony with a fantastic sea view. Come follow me. One of the downsides of this hotel is we do get the incoming air traffic. Pathos Airport is six miles away. So this is a show lounge here at Aphrodite Hills Resort and every night they have entertainment laid on for you. Most acts are flown in from the UK and the most of them are like tribute bands like tomorrow night we've got Tina Turner here. But I think her name is really Janice Brown or something. But there is entertainment here every night, normally starts about nine o'clock. So there's everything for everyone here at the resort. In the hotel's main bar, the Carib, the resident pianist or guitarist subtly provided the background music. The house entertainers also performed in the bar too, though oddly acts only starting at 11.15 for just 30 minutes. There's a weekly comedy night with comics flown in from the UK. The comedy cellar was packed and the entertainment a bit blue, probably wise not being in the front row. You can enjoy the warm night air with seating outside on the sun terrace to enjoy a cocktail or two. The bar does shut at midnight, which for a five-star luxury hotel is way too early. An extra hour would be perfect. We found the local drinks didn't kick a punch and the imports were very expensive. Our days were spent by the pool, soaking up the hot sun, with temperatures heading into the mid-30s in September. Glorious. So we are starting our day with a leisurely sunbathing, a quick dip in the pool. It's the general thing you do when you're on holiday, just about to get wet. Here we go, one, two, three. There are four swimming pools to choose from, including the indoor one that also goes outdoors. As well as a family leisure pool, there's an adult pool, and for those who take their swimming seriously, an activity pool. The pool areas have bars that serve drinks and operate a waiter service keeping you topped up without having to move. Children can let off steam in their very own adventure pool. Fancy some activity? 
a sports hub has table tennis as well as a full-size tennis court. For the more leisurely pursuit, how about a round of golf on the 18-hole championship golf course? So if you're not feeling relaxed enough, you can escape to the retreat spa within the complex where they cater for all your relaxation needs. Named as best luxury resort spa in the world in 2016, which proves it must be good, hotel residents can enjoy 20% discount on treatments. The husband dropped in for a massage and facial man maintenance. He instantly felt the benefits of his spa day. Aphrodite Hills isn't just a hotel resort. It is a residential complex surrounded by homes and villas. A small village of retail outlets to service residents has been built called the Village Square. You'll find a baker's and supermarket stocked with familiar brands, a coffee shop for those sit down and watch the world go by moments, and an ice cream parlour to cool you down on those scorching hot days. If needed, there is a medical centre in the village too. Little cafes, bars and restaurants are dotted around the village. The village is open to non-residents and hotel guests can sometimes benefit from 20% discount in some outlets. Car and bike hire is available for those who wish to explore the island. Plus a cash point machine if you need it. They can also get married here as they have their own chapel on the resort. There was a wedding reception at the hotel virtually every day during our stay. Many couples chose to wed at the St Catherine's Chapel in the village. Well that ends our review of the Aphrodite Hills Resort here in Cyprus. We've had a wonderful week staying at this luxurious hotel and it certainly lived up to its five stars. Excellent food, excellent staff and lots to do here in and around Pathos too. We'd certainly recommend coming back here again. It certainly lived up to our dreams. Let me set up the furniture.